An LSU fan nearly caught in a ticket scam says he blew the whistle on a fraud and scored big with a thank you gift. Karma works out well many times. NBC Local 33's Jonah Gilmore joins us live in studio. Jonah, he says the call on this vow actually helped protect someone else's identity, right? Yeah, we see a spike in ticket fraud during major sporting events like the national championship. One local man looking to score big found himself in the middle of a scam. But this bizarre case has twists and turns that ends with a stolen identity being protected and the scammer having his own trick played on him. Kevin's search for a national championship ticket led him to a third party website. I ventured off on a Craigslist. Just somebody told me, hey, there's stuff on Craigslist. Check it out. After searching for ticket deals, he found an ad for a price that was too good to be true. $8.50 for two tickets, base value, no way. He says after talking to the seller, he realized he was in the middle of a scam. Instead of blocking the scammer, Kevin says he went for the goal, looking to catch the criminal in the act. I messaged the guy. I said, hey, tell me your information. Tell me where the tickets are at. Show me proof that you have them. This text message shows Kevin asking for pictures of the tickets. Then I got to the guy. I finally said, well, I don't know who you are. I don't know anything about you. He sends me a picture of a driver's license. He says the state on the license did not match the area code of the phone number the scammer used. A simple Google search led to Kevin realizing someone's identity had been stolen. Found the person that was on the license, and I messaged that person and asked them, hey, are you trying to sell me tickets or does somebody have your info? And that's when we figured out this is a scam. The man told him he recently lost his wallet and someone was using his identity. Together, they scammed the scammer, getting him to send the routing number and personal information the police used to catch him. The guy thanked Kevin for his act of kindness. He says he wasn't looking for anything in return, but when asked about a friendly repayment, he joked about a ticket for the game and to his surprise, his wish was granted. His exact response is, how about I make it a pair? Like Magic, Kevin received two tickets to the national championship, a gesture he says is a blessing for him being a blessing. All of a sudden, I've got an email saying, here, accept your tickets, and sure enough, through the college football app, I now have two tickets to the game. Kevin says this entire ordeal was something like out of a movie, but says he would do it all again because he would want someone to help him out if it was him being scammed. Report in the studio tonight, Jonah Gilmore, NBC Local 33 News.